Okay. So, <laughs> can anyone hear me? I just want to make sure this is working. And uh, also, please know that there is like a 20 to 30 second delay between what is on my screen and what is on your screen. Okay, good. So what we are gonna be doing um, for this game, because, okay, let me start over. This is a game I used to play when I was really, really little. Uh, my mom used to babysit uh, some like rich family's kids and I would go with her cause I was like free. And when the little one was down for his nap and the older ones were at school, uh, I got to play on the computer. Huzzah! And this was one of the games that they had that I liked to play. Um, just a uh, little note, uh, the mouth movements, if you did not already notice, are going to be really weird because they did not animate to the dialogue. Uh, you're just going to have to deal with it, I'm sorry. Um, and also, this game does not change. There is one, s everything is set in place. Everything is exactly the same every single time. So, with that in mind, I know exactly how to beat this game, but I am not going to quite do that. I am going to give you guys the option of uh, choosing where to go, okay? So, there will be, like, choices of places we can go. I will let you pick, like, do we go left, do we go right, do we go straight, stuff like that. And also, one fun thing about this game, because it's meant for little babies, is that you can click on, like, everything and it does something. My God. Thank you, Pup Pup. Where would I be without you? <laughs> yeah, I am the pro gamer God. He's a good boy. Also, again, please keep in mind that uh, stream is about 20 to 30 seconds behind where I am IRL. So it might take a moment for me to respond to your comments, but I, I do see them, I promise. So let's get going. We are a little purple car named Putt-Putt because that's how stuff works. Oh my God. God, wouldn't it be great if video games had this kind of stuff today? You just randomly walk up to a barrel, poke it, and something pops out. What do we got? Help him. Hello, Mr. Beaver. <laughs> you can see why this kept me entertained forever. Okay, so <laughs> this, I, I gotta show you this. So, like I said, you can click on everything. 
Yeah, poor thing. So, um, sometimes when you click on things, you get in, uh, you get a little more than what you expected. Like with these three guys. Sometimes I just think about this song. Also, hello, Gachina. Every time I go to the zoo in real life. Oh, shoot, you guys can't? One second. Give me a second. Let's see if I can get it to work. I'm restarting the song. You guys do not get to go your life without hearing this song. I want you to think of this song every time you go to the actual zoo. We are the topiary creatures. We're very pleased to meet you. Signors and signoritas too. Uh, the animals we feature. You know would never eat you. We sing so very sweet to you. Welcome to the zoo. Zoo, zoo. With the kangaroos. Roos, roos. And the tigers too. Too, too. Welcome to the zoo, zoo, zoo. So show them self reliance. Come in and see our clients. Do not beat the giant yaks. You learn about the lions in advertising tie-ins, and maybe you learn some science back. Welcome to so the zoo. So wipe off your windshield so you with can't the see the elephant, roos, the monkey, roos, and the chimpanzee. And the tigers, too, canaries, too, the carries, too, the bears are all hairy. The cheetahs, the cicadas, the gorillas, the gators. This is a significant part of my formative years. I just want to hear that out there. And the tigers, and the tortoises, and the tigers, too. My slice of pizza. Welcome to the zoo. Creatures, we're very pleased to meet you. I haven't written this verse yet, but uh, I will write it, and it will sound much better than when we had a wet, wet, wet. Welcome to the zoo, 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 with the kangaroos, roos, roos, and the tigers too. Can't believe they got away zoo. with that. Welcome to the zoo, zoo, zoo. Okay. Now that that's in your brains forever. I know, Mary. This is. <laughs> This was a great game to play as a little kid. It kept me entertained for way too it long. It says, Car Town Zoo. Here we go. Here we go. Hello, Outback Al? It's me, Putt Putt. I'm here to deliver some zoo chow. Hot diggity. Is this ever going to be fun? Mirror, I've been playing video games for an inordinate amount of time since I was a baby. Hi, Outback Al! I brought you some zoo chow! Thank you, matey. You know, I'm glad you showed up. It's been Just quite a morning, guys. all right. What with the zoo opening today, I've so much to fix. Bridges, boats, the works. But the worst of it is that some of the baby animals are missing. Can't find them anywhere. Hey! I can look for the missing baby animals while you take care of the stuff that needs fixing. Jackaroo, you're on! Of course, we can't open the zoo until they're all rescued, so God, I'm counting on you, Putt Putt. Here, this should help you out. And the other Putt Putt game I played, it's a list of everyone who's missing. Baby Jumbo the elephant, Masai the giraffe, Kenya the lion cub, Zanzibar the hippopotamus. Sammy Seal, and Little Skeeter the Snake. I'll find them for you. Good day, and good luck, Putt-Putt. Well, I'm off to I fix up I'm the place. I but... See you Kenya's later, Outback Al. Okay. It's the map of the Car Town Zoo. So we have the option of going to any of these places. So I want you guys to tell me, um, before we head out, uh, where should we go first? The gift cart or the snack cart? 
And then beyond that, we have to decide if we going to the jungle first, the plains first, or the arctic first. So what do you think? Snacks or gift shop? No, I did not play the time travel one. I only played this one and um, Putt Putt enters the race. Because we did not have a computer at my house when I was growing up, so I was not able to play computer games very often. Oh god, I hit the wrong thing! <gasps> Dishonor! Dishonor! Also, get me a zoo like this. Damn. Alright, give me the goods. <laughs> Hi, Putt Putt! Hi, Chuck Wagon! Chuck Wagon! Oh my god! I'll have some hot cocoa, please. Good choice, Putt Putt. I'll get it right away. For anyone who doesn't get the reference, a chuck wagon is a place where you get Here you go! And it's on the house! But this guy's hey. name is Chuck Wagon. Ooh, that hot! I think I'll save it for later. Oh, gee, I wonder if it'll be important later. I'll have some cheese squigglies, please. Excellent choice! Here you go! And you don't have to pay me a thing! <laughs> Meanwhile, the zoo in my city charges you, like, five dollars for that Jeez, squigglies. I'll have some cotton candy, please. On the double. Here you are. Thanks. I'll have some cotton candy, please. On the double. Here you are. Thanks. I just wonder where the food goes, considering he's a car. Wigglies are my favorite. I know, right? <laughs> Yummy. Snack. Okay. Well, if it isn't putt putt. It's going to be quite a day. I can't wait until the zoo opens. I know. Calvin. I'll have so many fine <laughs> gift items to sell. Gorilla salt and pepper shakers, souvenir hubcaps, oh my God, where's even the free cameras. That's great, Patty. Well, feel free to have a look around. Hey, don't mind if I'm I have my life together. Okay. I was thinking about selling t-shirts, but I couldn't find any big enough to fit even a sports car. They're cars. What are, how do they know what t-shirts are? Also, where are they going to wear those hats? Cool camera, Patty. Take it, Putt Putt. Arctic? The okay, cameras are first. free, one oh. for customer. After all, it's opening day. Thanks, Patty. I mean, ice, the Arctic is the ice place, and you spelled it wrong, so. Okay, here we go. Arctic. Oh, that looks safe. Come in handy. I think I'll borrow it. Borrowing implies that you're gonna ever put it back, you delinquent car. Brrr. Arctic land is sure cold. Look at all that snow up there. It looks that dangerous. Who designed this we place? Better be quiet, Pat, or we might cause an avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That was a close one. Achoo! 
view. Oh my goodness, that avalanche almost got us. Now how are we gonna get through? Who designed this place? How is that safe? All right, grasslands or jungle lands? Jesus. <laughs> They're alive. Jungle it is. Thank you. That's a long way down. How am I gonna get to the other side of the bridge? I just, I just hey wanna- Hey there, little buddy. That looked like fun. Can we just please appreciate that someone designed a zoo for cars and made it required for them to Tarzan their way across? This looks pretty secure. Whee! Imagine if your that rope swing made fun. you, excuse me, your local zoo made you rope swing over an actual gator to get through. Jesus Christ. Left or right? Let's rhyme! What about stew? Oh, I like stew. Stew for you. I got it. I ate some stew made out of a shoe, and boy, did it make me oopy dooby doo blue. <laughs> stew! The monkeys! I prefer the people at the front. But also, nobody answered, so. There's a toolbox in there! <laughs> I'll bet Outback Al wouldn't mind a bit if I borrowed these. You never know when they might come in handy. Sure, you klepto car. All right, left, okay. Little Skeeter, where are you? Now we can find out all about boa constrictors. Boa constrictors live in Central America and South America. Thank you. Thank you very much. What good is a new home without my little Skeeter? Okay. Oh, where is my baby? Little Skeeter, where are you? Hello, you must be Mrs. Boa. I'm Putt-Putt, and I'm looking for the baby animals. Oh, little Putt-Putt, have you found my little Skeeter? I miss him so much, it makes me weep. I haven't the found him yet, but I'll keep my eyes open. Thank you. You are a good little car with a good little heart. I can tell. Thanks, Mrs. Boa. Wow. I wonder how I can get up that river. I sure can't swim. There they go. All right, back we go. How? Are you Masai? I sure am, and am I ever in trouble. I got stuck over here, and the drawbridge won't close. How'd she get over There's there? There's a giant rock in the way, and it's too heavy to move by myself. I can't believe my dumb luck. Well, maybe I can help. Oh, if you would, I'd be the happiest little giraffe in the world. I miss my mommy. Back we go. Alright, so now we have to go to the planes. Woo! 
I pick it. Right or left? Wow! I can see all of the grassland. Thank it's you, Mira Mira. beautiful. It's a snapshot moment. How big is this zoo? I can't wait and I should save my film for taking pictures of the zoo animals. They are zoo animals. Let me have this. Excuse me, Mrs. Giraffe. If you're looking for Masai, I've already found her. Oh, wonderful. Where is my little girl? She's on the other side of little. a drawbridge that's stuck open. But I think I can save her. Hello, I Tabby. do hope so. And tell her mommy's waiting. Where can you be, Kenya? Is this where Kenya the lion comes Yes, but we can't find her anywhere. She's been missing since sunrise. Leo and I are heartsick. Maybe I Wait can find her Wait till you see where she you. is. It's great. Oh, putt putt. If you do, Leona and I would be beside ourselves with joy. Yes, we miss our little cubby so. As soon as I find <sighs> her, I'll send her right home. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, monster. Are you like 4'11 and your friends are 6 feet tall? Huh? Life just doesn't seem the same. Not huh? without Kenya. <laughs> you stay away, you awful mouse. It's Baby Jumbo. Save me, save me. I'm under attack by a giant mouse. A giant mouse? Hmm? Yeah, he jumped out and scared me. Can you save me? Please. I'll try. Move, Mousy, Mousy, Mousy. I'm almost six Go feet on, tall. Oh well, I guess I'm just gonna have to find some other way to get that mouse to move. Well hurry as fast as lightning. Okay, good night. The video will be on my channel for a little bit. So you can watch it tomorrow when you wake up if you want. Okay, so in this game, you can change your, col your color like without any consequence or payment. So. Hot ziggity! I'll try a new paint job. That'll be fun! <laughs> also, what, wow, what kind fire of zoo engine red? has a hair salon? Good. Okay, what color should I go with? That's the most fun I've had all day. My god, you poor little car. Sunny yellow. Oh god, no, 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 no. Getting painted is fun. Orange, excellent. Okay, I'll show you blue. Getting painted is fun! Ooh, cool blue. Getting painted is fun! This shovel might come in handy. 
I think I'll borrow it. Purple. That's my kind of color. Oh, is it really? That was great. I was never able to leave him colored for very long. Never. I think I tried one time and it didn't work. So, um, again, I know how to rescue him, but I'm gonna go find his mom first. Just so you can see what she says. Oh god, here we go. I should save my film for taking pictures of the zoo animals. They are zoo animals! Smile! Amazing. Uh, hi, Sashrina. This is a game called Putt Putt Saves the Zoo that I played when I was a little kid. So this is like a mid-90s computer game that uh, was re-released on Steam. There is literally no pressure or anything bad that ever happens in this game. Baby Jumbo, please come home to Mama. Excuse me, are you Baby Jumbo's mother? Yes, honey, I am. Guess what? I found him! You did? Oh, happy day! Where is he? He's not too far from here, and I know I can save him. I think you will too. I feel it in my elephant bones. Good luck, Butt Butt. Thanks. There's literally nothing stopping these children from wandering off. I just want to know how this has not happened before. There must be a way out of here. Hey! You must be Sammy Seal. What happened? I was having a great time splishing and splashing. Then all of a sudden, the dam closed. Now I'm stuck. Maybe I can help. Oh boy! I bet if we figure out a way to open the dam, you could swim home. Of course I could. I'm a super duper swimmer extraordinaire. I love her. Okay, so we have pretty much everything we need to rescue all the baby animals at this point. Don't have a question at Monster. So who should we go save first? I need to rescue who do we get baby first? Jumbo the elephant, Masai the giraffe, Kenya the lion cub, Zanzibar the Hippo, Sammy Seal, and Little Skeeter the Snake. J and out back out. Gemini, I think I, my record for the meeting this game is five minutes. So I get that. I really do. <laughs> Who should we say first, guys? Wow. I can see all of the grassland. It's beautiful. Oh, wait, we haven't even met Zanzibar or his dad yet. He doesn't count. Okay, we going for the baby. Let's get my favorite baby first. Now Pep and I can go. Also, um, I'm going to take a little detour before we go to Kenya because I wonder I where the kid could have run off to. I love the rapids. It says rapids. 
Yo, what's up? Excuse me, is this where Zanzibar lives? Yeah, it is, but he ain't here. He got lost somehow. Maybe I can find Zanzibar. Oh, that's a 90s trope. Oh, if you could, I'd really owe you big time. I miss the little rascal. I'll sure do what I can. Thanks a ton, Putt Putt. I'm counting on you. What? Did Putt Putt introduce himself to him or did he just know? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, if you want logic, this is the place. To not win. I wonder where to kick. Whoa! Whoa! This is not a safe zoo. Yay! Where are the lifeguards? I can't believe. Apparently it is, monster. Apparently it is. I wonder what. Whoa! Oh wait, my mom is here. Hi, mom. Woo! Streaming this on the TV downstairs. I I'm just stuck a up on the rock. Can you jump? Not into the water. I can't swim. Then we're just going to have to figure out another way to help you. Oh, you don't know how happy that would make me. Sorry. 
It looks like I'm going to need something else to help you up from that rock. So I well, I hope you find it, it soon. Me too. Because we already have it. Any takers? Uh-oh, here comes the kitty kitty. The stream is about to be invaded. Maybe this will do the trick. Uh-oh, it's almost time for baby's dinner. Yes, I got it! Can you climb it? You made it! I sure did. Thanks for saving me. Say, I didn't catch your name. Putt-Putt. Thanks, Putt-Putt. You're welcome. Bye, Kenya. There are five more animals to Why rescue before the dew can open. Alrighty, back down we go. My god. I need to rescue Next. Baby Jumbo the elephant, Masai the giraffe, Zanzibar the hippo, Sammy Seal, and Little Skeeter the snake. The Outback Owl long. can open the car down zoo. I got a joke. Want to hear it? You bet I do. Knock, knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Lettuce in. It's cold outside. <laughs> what is orange and keeps falling off walls? You tell me! Humpty Pumpkin! <laughs> sure is dark in there. I'm going for my side. She's right there. Okay, Masai, get ready to help. You got it. <sighs> that was the best fun ever. Now My I just God, need to close the drawbridge. I can't believe my... turned out okay, Masai. <laughs> you be careful going home. I will. There are four more animals that need my help. Okay, can we just appreciate that she turned around and walked away? If Pup Pup's facing this way and she turned around to walk away, that implies she went this way, as in through the cave she couldn't fit through before into the jungle where she would have to swim because the raft isn't there nor would it fit her. Moving on. <sighs> Alright, know she had it handled. Shovel our driveway and our sidewalks and shit every winter. Great! 
Now I can keep on driving. This is a nice place to visit, but I don't think I could live here. It's freezing. It's the baby. Burritos. I'm cold and I can't move an inch. You must be little Skeeter. I saw your mom and she sure misses you. I miss her too. I need something to warm me up so I can go home. Can you help me, little car? My name's Putt Putt Why and I'll do my best. Snake Thanks, Putt Putt. Go somewhere this cold, they're cold blood. You poor baby, please get warm. <gasps> Here you go. Hot cocoa. <laughs> Thanks, Putt Putt. I feel much better. I'm going to slither home to my mama. Bye bye. Bye, little Skeeter. I still need to rescue three animals so the zoo can open. See, I think part of the reason Outback Owl wasn't able to find any of them is because they're in such freaking bizarre places that he didn't even think to look there. Where are you going, fam? Here comes the puck. I suck at this. Fair warning. Get it, your ice cold snow cone here. I got the ice cold snow cone. Pull it down. I do recognize that this AI was designed to compete with four year olds. That being said, I still suck at it. my little Sammy. Let's see here. Um, is that better? Oh, is this Sammy, better? I hope it's better. Oh. Okay. Back in it. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, good luck, buddy. Yeah, no, it's not happening, son. Are you Sammy Seal's mom and dad? We certainly are. I'm Squidgy Seal, and this is my husband, Bobby. Oh, my whiskers. Have you found our little girl? I sure have. She's stuck in a mud puddle by the dam, but I know I'll find a way to help her. Oh, I hope you figure fast. We miss our baby Samantha. We sure do. Right down to our flippers. It says slide. I'm gonna do him last because he's my least favorite. Excuse me, are you Zanzibar? Yeah. It kind of looks to me like you're stuck on that iceberg. Well, what if I am stuck? I could help you get <gasps> unstuck. Get it sure would make your mom happy. Get there? You could? I mean, you could? Sure. I just need to figure out how to do it. And also, did not one of these little <clears throat> guys think to go and find the nearest zookeeper and be like, Hey! Hey! There's a heckin' hippo child! Yeah, also, how is that supporting his weight? I genuinely don't know. Okay. <laughs> Only in the 90s would a penguin have a boom box. Just hanging with them. Alrighty. Okay, so the jungle is cleared of babies. Now let's go clear. Let's go save that poor elephant. My god. Babies. Sure is good to be back with my mommy. Hey, Pop Pot, I'm finally in my new home. Mommy, it's Pop Pot who helped me move the rock. Thank you so much for helping my little girl. Yep, I couldn't have done it without you. I was glad to do it. Hi, Anna. Hi, Kenya. You made it home. I sure did, Putt Putt. Mom and Dad were so happy you helped me. They were getting kind of worried. They're nappy now, but I'm sure they'd want to thank you if they were awake. It's good to see you again, Kenya. You too, Putt Putt. Stop by anytime. Thanks, I will. Great shot. Great shot! Great shot! Fetch, little mousy! I mean, giant scary mousy. Oh, look, it's me. Oh, thanks, Putt Putt. You're my hero. Oh, 
Oh gosh, Baby Jumbo, it was nothing. Now you better hurry home to your mama. Mama? Mama! Mama, Baby Jumbo's coming home. Wrong way. There we go. Two more animals still need my help. But what's supposed to be up there? It's a lookout platform and everything. I don't remember how this game works. You got time for a game of animal tag? <laughs> sure. Yahoo! We're gonna have some fun. Why don't you pick a level to start at? Heck. Wow! You're not messing around, are you? Okay. Find seven cheetahs. I might be beaten by a kid's eight game. Zebras. And six flamingos. Oh God, I'm sorry. Hey, you got me. Hey, you got me. I have to hear that five more times. Great job, kid. Oh my god. That was hard. Four, five peacocks. And ten I'm leaving. And ten gazelles. Uh, you sure you gotta go? Yes. Okay. I went out. Great game. Free me. Let's go get that poor seal. Our new home is great. Where did they come from? Mile. Like they're all clearly want to be here. Mama. And I miss None of them are in enclosures, so like, did they just like volunteer for this? I, uh, what are animal rights in the car world? I need to find something to help me lower the dam. God, I wonder which one it is. That is one strong antenna he's got. Get ready, Sammy! You're going swimming! Yeah! I'm flipping out of clapping! This is fun! <laughs> Hurry home, Sammy Seal! And good luck! I Strictly speaking, the Arctic place should be in help. the literal opposite direction. Like, it should be on the side that we are. Don't oh, forget it. <laughs> now that the dam is down, the water can flow through. It says River Dam. Our new home is great. Also, do like since they all want to be here and none of them are enclosures like who's feeding these guys and like did they all consent to being in the same enclosure with the carnivores i'm just i'm just kind of like got some zootopia thoughts here at this point <laughs> okay who's 
is left. Listen, you might have lost brain cells due to this game, but this was part of my formative years. And I loved it. <laughs> but again, this game is meant for like three to five year olds and they're not gonna think of that stuff. <laughs> You saved our Sammy. Yes, we miss and her You shouldn't be so afraid to say it. Thank you. I You're used to play uh, a kitty uh, MMO called Free Realms. I played it for a while. I only stopped playing it because they shut the servers down. It was just like a zero conflict, zero stress little MMO, and I loved it. I, I mean, I got to be a fairy. I had wings. I was flying through a magical forest. I was, I was cool. I loved it. Our girls are best slipping All right, hit it, honey. on the junior seal team. Go on, Samantha. Show them your stuff. Oh, she did a little art art. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Free Realms. I loved it. I also I had so many cute mounts. My favorite was the surfboard that you got to ride and it shot rainbows out of the back. I also had um yeah, my my little fairy ca character was Echo Featherflick and then I think I had Riley uh Riley Foxheart, I believe, was my human character. And the instant I got a werewolf tail, I never took it off. I, I loved the Halloween event the most, where it was the uh, the Black Forest werewolves versus the Sullen Fang vampires in an epic dance contest to decide who was dominant for the next 15 minutes. I loved it. I also really, really loved going out of bounds in that game. It was, it was really great. <laughs> And also how- My feet are freezing. Well, yeah, sir. They're on ice. Anyway, I also um, Maybe really liked how like the whole game was just like this super bit. chill. I can make a path to the shore. Just super chill the whole time. And then by doing this one quest down on the farm, suddenly you got involved in this whole political coup and espionage and a boss fight. And then they never built anything on it. The closest thing I've gotten to the same like vibe that Free Realms had was um, Legends of Equestria, which is a fan-made uh, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic MMO, which I really love. I need to play that again. Look, the penguins are doing their best. Come on, Zanzibar. Don't be scared. Scared? I'm not scared. Here goes nothing. I'll make my pop proud. Though the fact that I enjoy kids games and stuff should be kind of obvious considering that this uh, most of this channel is comic dubs based on Miraculous Ladybug. <sighs> Thanks a ton. Yeah, of course they can swim. But Don't yeah, and that's ice. That's that's water that's a couple temp a couple degrees below freezing. I rescued all of the missing animals. I'd better go tell Outback Al. Hey, Outback Al! The I man is stressed. All the lost baby animals. 
Terrific. Pot, pot, you, you know that's supposed to be Stur Steve Irwin. Bless enough. that man. Follow me. Welcome, I wonder if he knew about to this. Grand opening of the car town zoo. Look at the Today, little baby cars. Someone very special with me. And we never could have opened the place without him. Mom, where do baby cars come from? Thanks to Putt Putt's courage and bravery, we're gonna give him this junior zookeeper award. Here you go, for a job well done. Thanks, Outback Hell. I was glad to help. <laughs> now, Putt Putt, how about doing the honors and cutting the ribbon? You bet. Enjoy the zoo, Putt Putt. It's going to be a grand day. Hot ziggity. It sure is, Outback Al. Look at the little cars going over the alligator bridge. God, help him. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, same dog. Oh my god, really what? Holy hell, I just figured out something new about this game. They're adorable. Look at these children. I'm dying at these 90 clo 90s clothes and 90s hairstyles. Adorable children. Look how young he is. He just- he looks like he fits the role. Well, a uh, monster- there is another pup putt game I can play. I have a uh, pup putt enters the race, if you want me to go play that one as well. I do have it set up to play. If you lived in Car Town, you'd be home by now? Any similarity to any actual cars, modern or classic, is strictly coincidental. If you lived in Car Town, you'd be home. Right now. My God, the programmers had fun Are with you this. Sure you want to quit? All right, give me one second. Let me switch this over. Just give me one hot sec.
Ready, Pep? Okay. Look, it's lip sync. Ready, Pep? Catch. Special delivery, Pep. Oh. Wowie, zowie. Oh boy, it's from Redline Rick. It says I'm invited to join the Car Town 500. Hot ziggity. Well, I hate to run, uh, but I got more mail to um deliver. I'll be talking to you later, Pot Pot. Hey, Pep, come on, pal. Okay, yeah, so his voice changes in this one, and I, I like the zoo voice better, but for the love of God, at least it's lip synced. It's a great day for a race. The difference two years can make. Oh my god, heavy metal flower. Okay. So this game is not the same every time you play it. There's a lot of different variables that can change and a lot of different things that need to be done and a lot of different bonus things. Um, like there's even times where uh, things catch on fire <laughs> and sometimes when they don't. Uh, you can usually tell certain what cer certain aspects of the game are going to be based on looking at things you see earlier in the game. Once you get into Car Town. Oh god, this is my favorite. How you know he's dead? Yeah, mom, this is the race one. I think Jumbo's out again. Uh, okay. Look, it's an armadillo. Now that's not something you see around here every day. Uh oh, I think that just scared him. Okay, Pep, give it a try. Drive around good him, good god. Gosh, I sure hope we didn't scare that little guy too much. You gave him well, a heart attack. I guess I can keep on driving. Car Town Speedway, here I come. Hi, Redline Rick. Well, if it isn't my little buddy Putt Putt, are you here to sign on up for a big Car Town 500 race? You bet, Redline Rick. Pep and I have been waiting all year. Well, Putt Putt, if you want to be a race car, you have to be able to grip the road, race like the Dickens, and always keep safety first. So you might have to get some things. I know. I can get whatever I need in Who Car Town. thought it was a good idea to well, a child. Here's a list of all the things you'll need to get. Or at least a very like, juvenile need car race. High powered, high octane gasoline, super speed rated racing tires, a safety helmet for Pat, and a triangular is. flag with the number eight on it. That's your official number. Thanks, Redline Rick. I can't wait. I the number get changes busy. every game. I have a um, lot game, of gear to get before the big race.
Poor guy. All right, here we go. Okay, I know right away, just because there's no ladder visible here, that we are not, for example, going to have to rescue a kitten out of a tree. It's little stuff like that. <laughs> so there's a lot of things here that you need, um... Hey, dude. There's a lot of things here that you can do, but you need money for them. Like, recoloring yourself, going to the car wash. I love going to the car wash. But you have to get money to do it. And one of the best ways to get money in this game is by... Good morning, apart -part. Gathering vegetables. Good morning, Mr. Baldini. How are you on this fine, sunny day? I'm a great pot pot Hey, a pot pot I'm a getting a little low on produce. How'd you like to do me a favor and go out on the Actually, farm and Actually, no, the ladder more, is huh? for the cat. Sure. What do you need, Mr. Baldini? <laughs> well, it's uh, the cat let me down. see. I need a one of tomato, a one of ear of corn, and a one of bunch of broccoli. Oh, okay. I can that reminds that. me. Excellent. Uh, there's a cat waiting you bring them for back me to, me in this to box, feed and I'll give her. You two coins, right but now, but um... Thanks. Just, um, give me like, like, give me like five minutes Great. before she comes in well, here and good luck. starts screaming at me again. Just be right back.
It says free. Those batteries must be free. Great! These might come in handy. Dumb thing. Okay. Also, yes, hi, day by day. I brought ice cream. Okay, you can stop now. Trying out all the new toys in the stock room. Oh, want to make sure they work just right. Have fun. Oh, I always do. Yeah, I've never seen anyone live stream these either, but honestly, it's a cute, fun game. And like, it's just kind of relaxing. It's fun. It's dumb. And we're all stuck inside, so why not? So, fun fact, um, this is the gas that you need for the race, okay? But you need to be able to wait, you need to have a way to store it because it doesn't last very long. But, it's extra high power you can still put some in. Gasoline. That's just what Redline Rick said I needed for the big race. Great! <laughs> Wow, this is extra high powered. He's high. That extra high powered high octane gasoline doesn't last very long. I should take some I... of it with me to the race so I can use it there. I think I might have played part of the Freddy Fish game when I was little, but I didn't play it near as much as I played this because I really don't remember it. But I know what Freddy Fish is. I feel like maybe I played a bit of a demo. Probably because the old CD-ROMs used to come with demos of their other games. So I might have played a demo. I also played a demo of this game involving a kid in pajamas. I don't remember anything else about it. I think well, okay, maybe space was involved, but I'm not sure. Hey, an empty bottle! I've been meaning to get that recycled. Say, Putt-Putt, if you wouldn't mind, could you take it to be recycled for me? Yes, sir, Smokey. I'd be happy to. You heard it here first, folks. Recycle. Thanks, little fella. That's a big help. Cutie. OK, off we go. Arno, this is a great little game. We can't go to either of these yet, so we'll just skip it. Oh my god. Hey, it's Chuck, and it looks like he's in trouble. Putt Putt, how's my little buddy? I'm fine, Chuck, but what happened to you? Oh, one of my rubber radials hit a nail, popped it like a balloon. That's one hell of a nail. I'm one stuck, Chuck. Maybe I can help. If you would, I'd be a happy tow truck. How's about heading over to my tire setter and picking me up a tire patch kit? And judging by my tire, you'll need to cut it into a square. Oh, I can do that, Chuck. Thanks, little buddy. I'd be much obliged. That mama when the tow truck needs a tow. <laughs> okay. This means something as well. I don't, don't remember exactly what. Let's check out what Outback Al's got going on. Mm. 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 
<laughs> well, if it isn't Putt Putt. Long time no see, matey. How do you like my newest addition? It's a baby sugar glider. Oh, it's so cute. This little fellow was born in Australia, near the coast. Had him sent out here so he could live in the car town zoo. Well, he's very cute. But he doesn't talk. I know, Oscar. I love that, too. Let's see what's going on over here. Okay. Okay. So I know right away what I'm gonna have to do here. I got a free Babu down there. Hello, Mr. Fender Bender. Well, if it isn't Pit Pit, Fender Bender. Well, governess. I mean, never guess what happened. Bonzo, my cat, ran straight down this hole, and now he won't come out yes, from under Oscar. the house. Yes, Oscar. Yes, it is. Gosh, I don't think I can reach in there. But maybe I can find something that will make him want to come out, Mr. Fender Bender. Well, if you did, that would be the cat's bow wow. I mean the cat's meow. Something always, almost always is wrong with the cat. It's either under there or he's up in the tree, so. Helping him get your money. Also, sometimes you need to provide food for the little baby, but it looks like this time you don't. But hello. Hi, Mrs. Airbag. I was wondering if Airbag. you wanted me to take your bottle to the recycling center today. Airbag. That would be a big help, Putt Putt. Thank you. Okay, and I'll bring the coin back for you. Oh no, Putt Putt. You can keep the coin. Gee, thanks, Mrs. Airbag. I think that's a radio station I like to listen to. Hey, folks. Don't forget to recycle those bottles. Do your part to keep car town clean. Take your empties to Mr. Crankcase's Junk and Recycling. 68. Need a little zing in your life? Drive on up. It makes your engine rev really fast. Ah! Some games you have to go back there and dig up your yard, but it doesn't look like you have to in this one. And sometimes this is on fire. Someone was littering. I think I'll pick up this empty bottle and recycle it. Is this going to be one of the games where nothing interesting happens? I think it might be. Hold on. Do I have any saved games? I don't. Okay. Uh... Hold on. I'm gonna try to restart the game. Give me better game. I don't know, man. Alright, pardon me. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip this a little bit. Just skip there just a little bit. Hi, Oh, there's the ladder, so we have to save Kitty. Oh yes! We got the one where it's on fire! What should I do? We'll come back. Shadow be okay. Good. Hey, I'm just gonna skip through the stuff we've already done. Out to lunch in case of fire call 911. I've never actually seen that, that before. What a tall Usually because whenever I see that shack on fire, I call 911 right, right away. Putt putt! How's my little Cause I'm a good bean. It's not a house. Hi, Outback Al. 
Well, if it isn't Putt-Putt. Long time no see, matey. How do you like my newest addition? It's a baby aardvark. Oh, it's really cute. Stayed home today to take care of the little bugger. Only problem is, he's hungrier than a crocodile in a grub nest, and I can't for the life of me remember what he eats. Wouldn't help either, because I can't leave him alone to go buy anything anyway. Maybe I could find out what he eats and then pick it up for you out back, Al. Jackaroo, you're on. Kind of Steve Irwin wannabe, can't remember. Okay, so, also, depending on how, how, on how the game goes, um, where you get certain items changes. Oh yeah, Oscar, this game is random. There are several things that um, are completely different. Like, there's only a set number of things that can happen, but how you have to get everything changes from game to game. So like, there's the flag that we need um, for the race, but in order to get it, we have to feed him. Whereas in a different run, it might be somewhere else. And again, there's the helmet we need. But in like that last run, we would have probably gotten it out of the construction zone. Hi, Mr. Fender Bender. Well, if it isn't Pit Pit, this has been a heck of a day. Bonzo, my cat, charged up my tree. I mean, charged up my tree and he can't get down. At least he's got his safety helmet on. It's too high to reach, but maybe I can find something I can use to that get him down for you, tail. Mr. Fender Bender. That's a Cracker Jack idea, son. Put, put. And if her gate is open, you have to go back there and dig up her yard. Fires are dangerous. I'd better call for help. Or I could just have a little bit of a burn-in as a treat, you know. I think I need to use that phone to call for help if that fire is going to be put out. Four, five, eight. Hmm, that's not the right number. <laughs> the number to report emergencies is nine, one, one. No. One, one, one. Hmm. That's not the right number. The number <laughs> to report emergencies, nine. Five. One, one. It's not 911 in every nine country. One, one. Please do not hang up until I tell you to. First, what is the problem? There's a fire. And what is your name? Putt-Putt. And what's the address of the fire, Putt-Putt? It's the old shed out on Valley Road. Okay, Putt-Putt, Smokey's on his way. You may hang up the phone now. Okay. He's here! Wow, that was fast. Thanks for calling 911, Putt Putt. Now stay over here where you're safe, and I'll put this fire out. <sighs> Mission accomplished. And now, Putt Putt, I believe you've earned a special reward. Your Junior Fire Marshal badge, because you alerted thanks, me fam. to an emergency. Wow, thanks, Smokey. Believe me, you earned it, Putt Putt. Enjoy. I hope to see you around. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to head back to the station. Bye, Smokey. I never got one of those IRL. Smokey did a great job putting out that fire. Uh-oh. I say, I sounded my horn. Oh, no. Careful, one main road. No, Oscar. Bad. Bad, Please. Oscar. Again. I honked. It's my turn. Whoa! Move it, move it. It's a one lane tunnel. Frickin' military. What was that I ran over? Well, who knows, because I can't see a thing. Wow, it's a flashlight. 
wine. Hey, Pot, but you want that old thing? It's not really working. You know what's wrong with it, Torval? Oh, yeah. No batteries. Go ahead and take it. Gee, thanks. Oh, don't you go mentioning it now. Who's messaging me on Discord? We'll see fun thing about that is we have batteries! Hey, I bet the batteries I got at the toy store will fit in this. Perfect! Now, fun thing about this man. He sings. So, Putman, what brings you out this way? Mr. Baldini wanted me to pick up some things at your farm. Oh, yeah. He told me all about that. You go right ahead. Thanks. If I were a bunny hopping all around, I go into my field and pull a carrot from the ground. <laughs> they're orange and they're crunchy and they're also good for you. A carrot is so tasty, even cooked into a spoon. Everybody has a Discord, let's be honest. I have a row of cabbage which I grow upon my farm. This tasty vegetable certainly has a charm. I can shred it for a salad or boil it for a stew. The cabbage that I grow is a gift from me to you. Excuse me? Uh. Hello? For Mr. Baldini. All right, worst part of the game right I here. Still need to find. Okay, we need. I still corn, need to find tomato a and tomato broccoli. In... <sighs> I still. Worst part of the game. Oh yeah, dude, straight up, I don't just, I don't randomly add people on Discord. It's, it's, it's people. It's basically just friends and people I play MMOs with. I can't pick anything right there. I don't think I can pick anything there. But we need the money. Oh, there's corn. get there from here that sounds like a you problem dude corn mr. Baldini wanted one of those I better pick one No, I have not played Animal Crossing. I do not have a Nintendo Switch. Nor can I afford one. I wonder if I can get close enough to reach that. Look, broccoli! I need some of those. I think I'll pick some. Where are the tomates? Where are the tomatoes? Oh, cauliflower. Where are the tomatoes? Are those the tomatoes? I thought they were f I wonder which way I should go to get there. I thought they were strawberries. I quit. My god. Country roads, take me home. 
Hey, tomatoes! That's great! I found everything for Mr. Baldini. He'll be so excited. The Italian car only wants me to bring him one of each. Honestly, the next game I'm going to be getting is the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, because, like, I, I like Final Fantasy VII is my shit. And I wanted to pre-order the game, but I didn't have the money. It's a hook! That's a dangerous thing to have in the road. I better pick it up. And I've been looking forward to the, to the seven remake for years, like just about everybody in the Final Fantasy community. So I'm eager to get my hands on that one because <laughs> I hear a lot has changed from the original. I know that they've expanded on a lot and I am super excited. I don't remember if Mr. Baldini sings or not either. Smokey did a great- Ah, they're not gonna jump. Let's see here. Hey, odd animals of the alphabet. I'd like to take a look at that. A is for aardvark. Aardvarks have long tongues like worms, eating stuff that makes us squirm. Termites and ants, they love to crunch, though sometimes they eat green grapes for lunch. Hey, Outback Al needs food for his baby aardvark. I don't know where I can find termites and ants, but oh. I bet I can find him some grapes. Oh, hell yeah, I know what FNAF is. My goodness, who doesn't? Actually, I've been re-watching Markiplier's uh, old videos of FNAF these last few days. I personally have only played a s I played the demo of, na of the first and the demo of the fourth. I don't handle jump scares Whoa. well. Didn't you hear my horn? Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I know what FNAF is. We back in it, lads. I can't pick it. I'll have to get... I wonder if I can get close enough to reach that. I can't pick that from here. Why not? It's literally right next to you! I wonder which way I should go to get there. Ooh, grapes! I know someone who might like those. The jumps... It's... It, the, the scares of the jump scares don't get me. It's the jump part. Like, dude, I've worked in haunted houses and haunted trails and stuff. I mean, that... I'm used to that kind of stuff. It doesn't get me. It's the, it's the jump factor that gets me. I could probably beat FNAF 1, because it's not that hard, and I know how to beat it, but... I don't want to get jump scared. I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, little dude, chat out. Again, out back out. Hi there, Putt Putt. Here it is. Some food for the baby. Well, aren't you a lifesaver? Can't thank you enough. racing flag? It sure is, Putt-Putt. Why? Did you need it for something? I sure do. For the Car Town 500. Go ahead and take it. I don't need it. Thanks, Outback Al. That's really nice of you. Oh, don't miss God, it. I wouldn't you even try for enough to. I'll help you out. That's what friends are for. I would not try that one. Well, I would also... This is great. Now, I just need to put... I would also very much not play FNAF 3. I don't like FNAF 3. Not at all. It's the racing form I got from Redline. All right, my number is six. I should try to use the. Look at all. The... That number is six. That's the number I need for my flag. Of 
we go. Hello, sunflower. Hi. Excuse me, Betsy. Do you mind if I pound in some of those nails back there? Not at all, but but have at it. Thanks. Oh god, why did I wow, sign up for this? Look at all the nails. I, I usually leave him um, Here I go. I usually leave him purple most of the time. Oh god, why did I sign myself up for this? to work. Ready? Go! <laughs> ah! I have dishonored us. There we go. You're, it is satisfying. I better get to work. Ready? Go! Putt putt ASMR. I'll go to five. See if anything happens. I've got to pound all these nails in. Here I go. Ah! I better get to work. Ready, go! Dishonor! <laughs> also, hello, football. I remember you. No! <laughs> I blame you. There's a point to this. I've got to pound all these nails in. Here I go. Um, excuse me? That is not my dishonor. Maybe it's till 10. Give me money. Wow. I suck. get to work. Ready? Go! How dare you? Did that one just... Are they actively sliding out further? Excuse you? stuck with it this long before I've got to pound all these nails in here I go but do you have to that's the question right, I'm gonna leave these down because apparently the longer I leave nails untouched they start to abandon ship Here I go. Like half of them are. Wow.
Look, I might be bringing dishonor, but at least I haven't run out of time. I just jinxed myself. Ah! Last time. Either I get rewards or I don't. I better get to work. Ready? Go! <laughs> God, I hope my mother isn't watching right now. My mom's been popping in another stream. They're down on the couch. Okay, no rewards. I'm leaving. Should we stop playing now? Yes. Uh, sometimes she's got something that we need, and you have to- Oh, wait! Hey, Putt Putt! Still getting your gear together for the race? Okay, sometimes we need her shovel, I think? Oh yeah, when we need to dig up that person's yard, we need her shovel. So we have to persuade her to give it to us, but that's not a factor this time. <laughs> Good boy. Yo, so, Maxie, I gotta- Yeah, what else is new? Okay, so try me. So, brother, my boy, where does a bird go when it loses its tail? Uh, the retail store. <laughs> oh, these. That was bad. That was so bad. My God. Hey, I think I have something that belongs to you. Is it yours? Is it ever? Putt Putt, you are a great pal. Why don't you hook it back on me and I'll get these pipes moved? Thanks, Putt Putt. Okay, stand back. I've got work to do. All clear. Thanks again, Putt Putt. It sure feels great to be able to work again. You're welcome, Pete. Well, that's oddly, uh, appropriate. Also, he talks about wanting to work again, and then he just sits there. All right, we got the cool corner now. I love this place. Hi, Rover. Hey, Putt Putt. Do you mind if I take this bottle for recycling? Of course not. It's all yours. Thanks. <laughs> Have a carton of milk, please, Rover. Freshest you'll find anywhere, Putt Putt. Coming right up. Here you go. Thanks. What do I owe you? Are you kidding? I owe you. I mean, you're the guy who brought who me back Who has a alone. life right now? It's free to you, Putt Putt. I'm sorry, Always. Putt Putt did Gee, what? Rover, that's really nice. I never played that game. <laughs> oh, good and frosty. Yum. One more icy cold carton of milk, please. Here's your milk, Pot Pot. Wait, we need the milk for the baby. Oh, good and frosty. Yum. Oh, wait, no. That's not this game. We need the ladder this time. I'll I'm have a giant jumbo milkshake, please, Rover. Best and biggest in car town, Pot Pot. Coming right up. Do there not lewd the kids game about a car football. I will kink uh, shame you. I love milkshakes. Wow. Great. It's a tire patch kit. Chuck said I could take one so I can help him patch his tire. Now, all I have to do is go find some God, scissors I remember. so I can cut it out. <laughs> God, yeah, I remember the milk at school being like that sometimes. School milk was always like super hit or miss. One school I went to, the milk was disgusting. 
Hi, Mr. Crankcase. Hey, hey, Pat Pat. Excuse me, Mr. Crankcase. This sure is an awfully big mess. Whew. You're telling me. Accidentally bumped into those shelves this morning and nearly twisted my lug nuts. I can hardly bend over to put all that stuff back on the shelf. You're oh, a car. Don't worry. I can put it back for you. Why would you, you bend over? To do that, and I'd be more tickled than a newly tuned turbo engine. I have to warn you, though. There's only one way everything fits. Stuff was packed in there pretty darn tight. Okay, Mr. Crankcase. I'll remember that. Time to fail. Concerned, you can keep it, but but if you can use it, that is. Thanks a lot. No, thank you. You're the one who needs to be thanked. You're very welcome, Mr. Okay, get those in there. I get a coin. We'll be back, dude. They burned that chocolate milk, by the way. Car town color. Whoa, it would be great to get a new paint job. Whoa. It's car. This bottle doesn't belong on the ground. It's extra high powered, high octane gasoline. Fill her up. It's just a good little car. Redline Rick. I bet. I don't think I can use. Here you go, Mr. Baldini. Thank you, Putt Putt. And just like I promised, here's a two of coins. Thanks. You're welcome. And if you want to fill up another produce box, you just let me know. Hmm. Want to go back to? Let's do it. We can get the coins to go into both. Excuse me, Smokey. Is it okay with you if I borrow your ladder now? Of course, Pot Pot. After all, you've earned your junior fire marshal badge. Thanks, Smokey. I mean. Football. This is a 19, a game sure released it. in 1997, intended for three and four year olds. I know we were criticizing the mere logic of the zoo earlier, but at the same time, this is a game for children that is over 20 years old at this point, so. A lot of these people are playing tropes. And also, they're cars. Hey nerd, what is up? Look, I've gotta rescue a cat from a tree. My best friend has joined the chat. Love you. I don't think I can use that. 
I have a ladder, Mr. Fenderbender. Maybe I can help get him down. Don't let me stop you, son. I mean, stop you, son. Go for it. How did that fit in there? Here, Bunzo. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. My God. Dance, you did it. Now let's take this helmet off you once and for all, Bonzo. Bonzo won't climb trees if he doesn't have a helmet on. I think I'll just get rid of it. If you don't want it, Mr. Fender Bender, I wouldn't mind having it. I need a helmet for Pep so we can enter the Car Town 500. By all means. I mean, by all means. You take it, son. I'd be bonkers to let Bonzo wear that thing again. <laughs> this, uh, Wendy, Thanks, this Mr. is... <laughs> I'm going to the store to get some kitty bits. I'll drop off the ladder at the fire station for you, Pet Pet. This is Pet 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 enters the race, Wendy. It's a it's one of a series of games that came out in the '90s uh, for PC. Remember the old CD-ROM games? Yeah, this is one of those. Um, and basically, in each one, the, this little car Pet Pet has something to do. And for this one, he's about to enter the uh, Car Town 500. Good boy. I need to cut this time to fail my ancestors. I think I'll start over with the new sheet. That's a try. I think that's a. I think that shape is a triangle. I think. That shape. Okay, I I'm need. I'm not quite done with this, so I think I'll try again later. What shape did he need? Put put. By any chance did you pick up that tie up patch kit? I did, Chuck. Well, if that isn't something, did you get it cut out the right way? Not yet, but I will. I just have to find some scissors. You know that, and I'd be much obliged. Ah! Let's. I should try to. Chuck needs this tire patch kit cut into a shape. Then he can use it to fix his flat tire. Well, it was square the first time, monster. But then we restarted the game, so. Oh god, I failed. Oh god, I failed. Uh, Great! I cut a square! Now I can help Chuck fix his flat tire. Uh, uh, Leslie, no hablo espanol. Uh, yo hablo inglés y francés. Y francés. Sorry. Here you go, Chuck. Here's your tire patch kit cut into a square. Why, Putt Putt, are you ever something? Why don't you slap oh, that thing a square? on Hooray. me so I can be on my way? Okay, here goes. Good as new. Thanks to you. Well, I better get rolling. Drop by the tire center anytime, Putt Putt. I'd be more than happy to give you a deal on a new set of tires. Wow, I could use a set of super speedy radial racing tires for the big race. Well then, come on down, little buddy. I'll make you a deal of a lifetime. See ya. Okay, monster. Leslie, no hablo espanol. Um, hablo francés. 
francés y inglés. Lo siento. I have nowhere near enough coins. Oh my god, Wendy, watch this. My peas all grow so snug, yeah, tucked into their shelves. They hang upon the vine until they're big and ready to sell. Snap open a pod, a taste so crunchy sweet. My peas upon the pod really are a treat. I have a little song about I don't speak Russian. I plant it and I grow it and I call it zucchini. I know. I know that. I know what you're asking. I recognize the word for Russian, but no. I grow it and I call it zucchini. Also, welcome back. I have a row of cabbage which I grow upon my farm. This tasty vegetable certainly has a charm. I can shred it for a salad or boil it for a stew. The cabbage that I grow is a gift from me to you. Amazing. Hmm, I wonder where I can pick the things I need for- I still need to find- Oh, it's literally the same stuff as last time. see anything I can pick. Hmm, tomatoes. That's the shape of the vegetable I need to get for Mr. Baldini. Hmm, tomatoes. Nope, I don't need any more of that. I have enough right now. But do you? You're, you're getting groceries for an Italian man. You really want to look me in the eye, you little car, and tell me that you've got enough tomatoes? I want pizza. I can't pick anything right there. Driving around in. Oh, hey, Wendy, tell Timmy that I'm still streaming if she's done getting hitched again. Oops. It's corn! That's the shape Mr. Baldini asked for! Hello, Oliver. Just a reminder, because I know we got some new folks in here. Everyone be nice to each other. Be nice to me. If you're acting out of line, I will kick or mute you. And, uh... I did. I do say I in the. Can't pick that from here. <laughs> I do say in the title that this stream is meant for thirteen-year-olds and up because I have let a couple cuss words slip. Uh, do not tell me your age or anything that reveals your location or age or any of that kind of stuff, and we all good. This is a game called Putt Putt. Uh, Putt Putt enters the race specifically. It is a game that came out in 1997, if I remember right, and it is something that I used to play a lot as a little kid. That's broccoli. I need to pick something in that shape for Mr. Baldini. That's it. I filled the box. And now I have no. to take it back to Mr. Baldini. No football. He did not get any garlic. Someone's like he's not shopping for an actual Italian man right now. How did I not need any eggplant for him? My God. <laughs> Give me that. Hell yeah.
Your IRL friends don't know where you live? Um, that's kind of a problem, dude. Just give me the goods. Just skip it through to make this go faster. Hook me up. Let's get. That extra high powered, high octane gasoline sure makes my motor rev fast. He has like, sh he has like short term concentrated caffeine. Nope, no more. You're useless to me this run. Watch this. Hot ziggity. Okay, so that's that should be six coins, I believe, which is what you need for the tires. Hey, it's a it's the racing- Oh, the tires are the last thing I need. Heck, I gotta go away. It will immediately yeet me to the race. Nope. Need. Coin. Let's go get the car wash. No, you don't pay in gas. You pay with coin. If Putt Putt have coin, tire vendor has wares. Put two coins in the slot, please. Okay, I can do that. That's one coin. That's two coins. Thank you. You may now drive through. Hot ziggity. Okay, here we okay, go, folks. I'm ready for a car wash. Ah, oh, hot wax. This will give me that mirror-like shine. Clearly. He's got a dog. His name's Pep. And we have a little helmet for him, too. Because I wanted to see if it would let me wax first. Let me live. Uh, 
All right, I think we Was good. That ever great? Okay, for the sake of it, let's change. Working at the car wash. Okay, let's change his color just just because. I don't think I can use. What color are we gonna make him, guys? Pick your color, cowboy. Fire engine red, just like Smokey. I think I'm going to like this. Now close your eyes real tight, partner. Don't lewd the juvenile car. gonna go fast through the others but yeah that's orange that's yellow we are not leaving him yellow I do not like that put, put, put purple. that's cute blue and green what are we gonna do y'all I'll let you see him one more time Fire it. we have red Orangey. orange we're not doing yellow I do not like that put. Put, put, purple blue or green. Cut. What are you thinking, folks? What you thinking? I know, it's not yellow enough. Because most of his body is a darker color, and then the lighter colors, the highlights, it's just, it's, yeah. Blue? All right. Cool blue. I hope this looks good. Now close your eyes real tight. Buddy. As someone who has blue hair, blue purple hair IRL, I can dig it. See, I do like the green a lot, but popular vote wins. Sharpshooter, take a look. Looking good. All right, that was a blast. so we leaving it blue. Sixty-eight, sixty-eight, sixty-eight funny cars. Coming soon to the Car Town Speedway, it's 68 Funny Cars. Featuring Red Rider Rickshaw and Mean Clyde Green. They'll make you laugh, they'll make you giggle, because they're really funny cars. All 68 of them. My god. Okay, so are we leaving in blue or? What's up? Okay, okay. Your replies just came through. Let's keep going. Give me bottles or give me death. Litter, you fools. I think I have to get far enough away for them to come back. Do not loot the juvenile car. Uh, wow, that tastes great. Oh. 
Almost. Uh, but the moment I- the last thing I need is the tires, and the moment I get the tires, it's going to automatically yeet me to the race. Anyway, off we go. I just need to get a few more coins back, uh, for the tires. Need one more. Or maybe I need more more, I don't know. I think it's six coins. There's one. Give me the crack! I'm gonna grab this just in case. What? I have to go get more vegetables, I'm not sure though. I think it's six coins you need for the tires, but I'm not Chuck, sure. I was wondering if I could buy a set of those super speedy radial racing tires. Redline Rick says these are the kind I need to enter the Car Town 500. Best tire on the market. And am I ever gonna make you a deal since you Wendy, helped me why out did today? it censor your, Gee, thanks, Chuck, your comment? You said low. Normally, they're two coins a piece. But for you, I'll give you all four tires for only four coins. Oh, four That's coins. The savings of four whole coins. That's a great deal. Thanks, fam. Give him the crack. Hold on, Wendy, let me. There will be no censoring the Wendy. Oh, that reminds me. There. I have given you authority over my kingdom. Thank you kindly, Putt Putt. Now I'm gonna have to measure you with these calipers to make sure those tires will fit you. <laughs> Don't worry, <laughs> it ain't gonna hurt. What if they didn't fit? Well, well, a perfect fit. Putt Putt, you just bought yourself some primo top of the line super speedy radial racing tires. Why are those like professional to tires perfectly fit like to, to a juvenile car? Time? I don't want to race around car town too fast, so I'll just put them on at the track. Hey, this is great! Thank you. I did Thank everything you, I needed to do to enter the car town 500. Hot ziggity! I'm ready to race! Hi, Redline Rick. I got all the things I need for the race. That's great, Putt Putt. Just in time. Go on over to the garage, then, and boys get y'all fixed up real race car like. I'll meet you out on the racetrack. I sure am. Well then, go ahead on up to the starting line. We're just about to start. I'm about to bring dishonor on my family. Untap them. Start your engines. On your marks. Get set. Go! Ah. Get hacked. I have no accelerator. Oh God. The car does not have, I know it is, 
It is, Wendy, it is. But uh, they actually, oh god, they use their antenna to grab things. Jeff Gordon coming through. It's called the Car Town Speedway, and this is the Car Town 500. Oh my god, I've caught up with last place. Get hecked, dude. Get hecked. again yeah I sure do redline rick racing in the car town 500 is the best fun ever we're well, giddy up partner let's go race contestants start your engines on your mark they do want to get set go The longer you go without hitting a duck or an oil, the faster you go. I say, and then I hit a fucking duck. Oh, I cussed. I'm sorry. You jinxed it! Let me pass! I did very bad this time. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know I cussed in the juvenile car. But at least I didn't lewd the juvenile car. I don't know, I feel like I'm winning here. I gotta that do it again. Was fun. Well, you might have come in third, but you sure were cruising. Way to go, buddy! I, ga I gotta Thanks, get first place again. Rick. So what do you say? You wanna go again? I sure do, Redline Rick. Well, giddy up, partner. Let's go race. Contestants, start your engines. 
on your marks, get set, go! Imagine if cars could get totaled in this. All right, all right. Assert my dominance early. Maintain speed. Avoid ducks. Never mind. Who let all these ducks out on the track? Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. I'm okay. I'm okay. Hey dude, didn't you win first last time? <gasps> Last place is really not having a good time right now. Second place is past them, and third place is about to, too. If I can pass the red car, my life is complete. Oh my god, I've passed that blue car twice now. <gasps> those those were the people that beat me last time. God. My my dominance is asserted. Hi mom! Hot ziggity, I did it! How about mom, that? I won. Place. You were cruising. Good job out there, Put Put. Thanks, Redline Rick. Oh, how about it? You wanna race again? Um, the track is the same layout each time, but the obstacles changes each time. But yeah, it's only one track layout. Remember, this game is built for like three to five year olds. <laughs> I'm gonna stop here. I think I've raced because there's more I want to show you guys in this well, game. Well, then, let's go to the winner circle. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. I present to you the champagne and most fastest racer in the car down 500, Putt Putt! Way to go, buddy! Wow, thanks a lot! I'd like to thank everyone in Car Town for helping me get all the things I needed. And out back out. Good luck with your new baby animal. I'll see you all next time. And don't forget, it's not if you win or lose. It's how you race around the track. Oh my god, they lost to an emu. <gasps> Uh, sir? Okay. So like I said before, every single time the game starts, it's a little bit different. There's little... I know, right, Wendy? There's different, um... There's different scenarios that can play out, different ways you can get the different things you need. So let's pop on ahead. Oh my god, wait, 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 hold on a second. Wendy, I have to show you this. Watch this shit. Hey! <laughs> 
Because he's just like that, Wendy. Okay, Pep, give it a try. Good boy, Pep. Gosh, I sure hope we didn't scare that little guy too much. Oh, you well, bet your butt I've clicked I all the animals. Up. The fun of this game is clicking all the things. Oh, I forgot this part for you guys. Check this out. Go, Papa, go, Papa, racing up and down the speedway. Well, Papa's gonna race, and that's a sure bet. He's a groovy little car with a dog named Pep. When he revs up his engine around the speedway, you'll know. All the other cars shout, go, Papa, go. Go, Papa, go, Papa, racing up and down the speedway. When I get the green bag, it's a signal to go. With Pep's new helmet, he'll be safe, you know. To get the power you need, I can feel he's a must. Racing with the cars, kicking up all that dust. Go, Papa, go, Papa, racing up and down the speedway. See Pep's flag a flapping with his number on the side. He's the coolest little car on a crazy wild ride. Stop the being mean to the dog! The race might be rigged. It's the racing form I got from Red Lock. Okay. In we go. Okay, so the cat won't be up the tree this time. Grab those. I'm gonna skip through a lot of this just because we've already seen it. Uh, take that. Watch this. Give me the goods, toots. I bet when I use... Putt Putt, how's my little buddy? I'm fine, Chuck, but what happened to you? Oh. Triangle, okay. <gasps> yes, we get to tear up her lawn. Okay, so the cat's actually safe this time. I... So I'll be getting the helmet from somewhere else. Hi, Outback Al. Well, if it isn't Putt Putt, Long time no see, matey. How do you like my newest addition? It's a yak. A baby one. Okay. Yak. Hey. Why? He needs milk. Okay. Um. Putt Putt, hello. Hi, Mrs. Airbag. How are you doing today? I'm afraid not very well. Ralphie buried Mr. Airbag's new hubcaps in the backyard. 
Mr. Airbag's not going to be too pleased about that, I can assure you. Maybe I can help you dig them up, Mrs. Airbag. Oh, Putt-Putt, that would be wonderful. Great. Now all I have to do is find a they, shovel and I'll... They said the car town 500 car town. Jesus Lord. Okay, so it's not on fire this time. Now, this was like my favorite thing. It's me. Uh, yeah, in the zoo one, Wendy, um, there's the, uh, the food cart is called Chuck Wagon. They get some, they throw some puns in there. What was- Nope, 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 skip. Just give me that sh- Can be a chip or a fry so yummy. Potatoes are appealing, especially in my tummy. For breakfast or for lunch, or even for a snack. Potatoes are so good. Come and get them by the stack. Amazing. It's a Shovel. Hi, Betsy Bulldozer. Hey there, Putt Putt. What's up? I was wondering if I could borrow your shovel. I need to help Mrs. Airbag, and it would sure come in handy. Ah, oh, you know I'd like to, but I got a heap of work ahead of me today. Only time I ever take a break is to stuff down a big old fat milkshake. Of course, I forgot it today, so I'll be missing my break. I have a great idea, Betsy. If I bring you a milkshake, then you could take a milkshake break, and maybe then I could borrow your shovel. But I'm liking it. You're on. And make sure it's a really big one. Okay. Okay. Up you go. Oh, wait, we gotta hear a bad pun. Yo, so, Maxi, I got a joke. Yeah, what else is new? Okay, so try me. Here's one. Oh, oh, this is good. You're gonna like it. <laughs> What do you get when you cross a porcupine with a balloon? Uh, what? What? Pop. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, I get it. Yeah, right. <laughs> right, I get it, I get it. Yeah, all right. So, brother, my boy, where does a bird go when it loses its tail? Uh, who beats me? The retail store. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, I get it. All right, that's good. Knock, knock. Who's there? Olive. I love who? I love you, man. <laughs> I love you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Um. Excuse me? I have questions? Well, what do you get when you cross a cow and a pogo stick? Um, got uh, a milkshake. Uh, I'm leaving. of milk, please, Rover. Freshest you'll find anywhere, Putt Putt. Coming right up. There you go. Thanks. What do I owe you? Are you kidding? I owe you. I mean, you're the guy who brought me back from the moon. It's free to you, Putt Putt. Always. Gee, Rover, that's really nice. That's really cool. Thanks, Rover. I think I'll save it for later. I'll have a giant jumbo milkshake, please, Rover. Best and biggest in Carton, Pot Pot, coming right up. Okay. Yeah, Wendy, Papa went to the moon a couple games ago. That was a thing. Hi. 
Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna get the the gas can from somewhere else. Well, it's all done. That sure was a lot of fun, Mr. Crankcase. Thanks for letting me help. No, thank you. You're the one who needs to be thanked. You're very welcome, Mr. Crankcase. Alright, let's get out of here. Give me your shovel, woman. Here you go, Betsy. One giant jumbo milkshake. Thanks a bunch, Putt Putt. There's nothing like taking a break and drinking a giant jumbo milkshake. Say, I was wondering, Betsy, since you're on your break, would you mind if I borrowed your shovel? I need it to help out Mrs. Airbag. You go right ahead, Putt Putt. I won't be able to do any work during my milkshake break. Just make sure you return it as soon as you're done so I can get back to work. Okay, Betsy Bulldozer, I will. Thanks. And then I did it! Oh yeah, Wendy, my mom's been popping in and out of the stream all night. <laughs> They're just downstairs on the couch. Alright, let's feed the baby. Oh look, it's um, it's Steve Irwin. Hello again, Outback Al. Matey, you're back. Any luck finding out what this little fella needs to eat? I sure did. Don't I call me out, out like that, Oscar. Yaks like to drink milk. Oh, Bobba, I don't have a bit of that around here anyway. That's okay. I picked some up for you. As I live and breathe, Matey, you're the best. I can't wait to have a look see. Here it is. Some food for the baby. Well, aren't you a lifesaver? Can't thank you enough. Welcome back, monster. <laughs> oh my god! Is that a racing flag? It sure is. Snag that. Oh, I'm done. Tire patch kit. Car Look at all that that's the number. I need to cut I think I'll get a new sheet and try again. That shape is a tr I remember failing this step a lot when I was a kid. More than I should probably admit. But I was also three. That'll work, right? Great! I cut a triangle! Now I can help Chuck fix his flat tire. Okay. Let's get digging, folks. I'm not sure. That's it. Okay. The dog will growl, supposedly, when I get close to one. Or bark. That hole is empty. Oh, well. Nothing there. Excuse me. There we go. Wow, I found a hubcap. Mrs. Airbag will be 
happy about that. Nothing in there. We go, got two. Where's that? Dog, I think you're lying. Okay, there we go. One more. Mrs. Airbag. Mrs. Airbag, guess what? I found all four hubcaps, precious ancient treasures, and an old gas can. Oh my, Ralphie has been busy. Thank you so much, Putt Putt. Mr. Airbag will be so happy. You can keep the gas can, Putt Putt. You are this. Gee, bourgeoisie. I... Now I guess I better return the shovel to Betsy. Don't you worry about that, Putt Putt. I'll do it for you. Thanks, Mrs. Airbag. This bourgeoisie bit just took the hubcaps, took the treasure, and was like, hey, kid, you can keep the garbage. My, my God. Uh, wow. Here, dude. Putt. Get fixed. Get out. I'm running around town picking up garbage trying to get the money I need to go freaking race and she's just like here kid take the garbage One more coin. Literally. Okay. Hey. That. There we go. Makes me happy. <gasps> oh, come on.
That was cool. Hey, black sheep. <gasps> okay. Look at this. There's just a swing here. Like, is that for a car? Is that is that for a car to get into and swing? Excuse me? Who's putting that stuff up there? Was it you? It oh, I forgot this. Nito. Listen, you're the one that let the ice cube sit there for a week. Oh, hey, I won. more time. It's 
because I never really played this game. All right, I'm out. Are you ready to go? Oh my, dude. Wendy, look, it's Bullwinkle. No, Mr. Italian Man, we do not want to go shopping for you. And Randy, let's get them tires. I think that's all the good stuff for this run. Wait, I have tires. I have enough. Let's go. Chuck! Hook me up, I'm my not... dude. Here you go. What am I it's racing for. Oh, wait. I, I don't have helmet. I don't know where to get the helmet from. <laughs> um, okay. I have to find it. Excuse me, Betsy. Do you mind if I pound in some of those nails back there? Not at all, Putt Putt. In fact, I could use some help. Got a load of these cheap nails. They keep popping out left and right all over the place. If you could smack them back in for me, you'd be doing me a huge favor. Okay, Betsy, I'll give it a try. Wow, look at all the nails. I better get to work. Here I go. This is a game called I better get Putt to work. Putt Enters Ready? the Race that I used Go! to play a lot when I was a kid. It's an old CD-ROM game that they were re-released on Steam. I don't know where to get the helmet. I, I don't think it's here. Should we stop? Yeah, we need to go find that. Guess what? Hey, this is great! Oh, she gave me the I helmet! everything I needed to do to enter the Carton 500. I knew it was something. Hot I'm ready to race! Hi, Redline Rick. I got all the okay. things I need for the race. That's time to win honor back. and glory. Just or just embarrass Go my mom. One of the two. Boys, <laughs> y'all fixed up. Read your race car like. I'll meet you out on the racetrack. My dad keeps trying to call me. Both, maybe. Gun tap them. Start your engines. On your mark. Get set. Go! Oops. So basically, this kid was invited to join a local, the amateur hour of a local race, and he got some new running shoes, a safety hat for his dog, a jersey, and uh, an energy drink in order to do it. Is is, is basically how this is what happened.
and along the way he did some chores for the local capitalists to get the funding he needed. Wow, look at this guy. That was the guy that was in the garage the whole time? Yeah, bye. This is like an actual race car? Bye. Racing truck? Bye. Actual race car? Buy a truck and a convertible? Buy? I have literally passed everybody twice now. Like, I am in a full lap ahead of everybody. That's amazing. Hot ziggity! I did it! How about that? First place! You were cruising! Good job out there, Putt Putt! Thanks, Redline Rick. So what do you say? You want to go again? Yeah, I'm good. I think I've raced enough for today. Well then, let's go to the winner circle. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the champagne and most fastest racer in the car down 500, Putt Putt. Way to go, buddy. Wow, thanks a lot! I'd like to thank everyone in Cartown for helping me get all the things I needed. And Mrs. Airbag, I hope Ralphie doesn't hide any more hubcaps. I'll see you all next time. And don't forget, it's not if you win or lose, it's how you race around the track! Achievement unlocked. <laughs> Yep. God, that's a mood. Mom, I want a milkshake. Uh, that's a problem. See? He's Italian. Local rich lady's dog doesn't continue his shenanigans. Where's the milk? I'm, I'm, I'm surprised they don't give him a glass of milk to drink. Listen, I'm just saying this is not a very authentic race if they don't give him milk to drink. Trust me, I live near a race truck. <laughs> I don't know who they are, but I ship it. Hello, little friend. Someone got paid to draw these. I'm allergic to milk. I am lactose intolerant, so I feel you. But it's actually a thing uh, for the winner of the. So the Car Town 500 is a joke on the Indianapolis 500, which is a very uh, big race in the United States in Indiana. And the winner of the Indianapolis 500, uh, among you know like the laurel leaf and the trophy, they're also always given uh, a glass of milk to drink after they've won. And don't they get to kiss somebody? I think they get to kiss somebody. But, you know, but it's, it's the milk, you know. Oh, yeah, they also kiss the ground. I know, Puppet has no parents. There's no one looking out for this kid. Like, he's clearly a juvenile, and he's, like, maybe he, prepubescent. He's probably, like, ten in car years. 
but he lives at what looks like a fast food store? Oh, biggest in the world? Go us. Okay, but look, this is his house, okay? But look, 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 it, it's... It's a fast food joint. So I'm just like, who watches this kid? Oh, it's a possum! Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. What else has changed? Poor mite. Another digger. Oh, but this time kitty needs, uh, milk. The kitty needs some milk to come out. So yeah, anyway, I think I am gonna be done with this for tonight. I got I got a friend waiting to do stuff on Final Fantasy XIV, so I need to go do that and also get like some work done and probably find some actual food because it's been a few hours since I've eaten proper food. Also, I haven't heard from a cat in about an hour as well, which probably means they're up to something or past the f out somewhere. So thank you guys for coming. Thank you, Monster, for basically staying through this whole time. I love you, Wendy. I'll talk to you on voice chat later. And yeah, thank you all for coming. Hope you guys have a good night. Try to stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear gloves. Wear a mask. All that stuff. Don't go out of the house unless you absolutely have to. Please. Uh, oh, right. It's not going to let me quit. Because I got to actually just... Boop. There we go. Anyway. There we go. Have a good night, guys.